language focus modal verbs giving advice in the present or the future to give advice in the present or the future we can use should have better or to plus the infinitive you should drive carefully you ought to drive carefully you'd better drive carefully and we can use the negative form shouldn't had better not or ought not to you shouldn't stay up late at night you'd better not smoke heavily ought not to is not usually used in the negative form giving advice in the past to give advice in the past we can use should have plus the past participle you should have visited your ill friend shouldn't have plus the past participle you shouldn't have shouted at your mother study these synonyms carefully should equals or to had better I advise you to if I were you I'd it's advisable for somebody to it's desirable for somebody to it would be a good idea to you'd rather it's a good thing to and all these synonyms are followed by the infinitive shouldn't equal I advise you not to it's inadvisable for somebody to had better not it's undesirable for somebody to if I were you I wouldn't it would not be a good idea to you'd rather not and all these synonyms are followed by the infant obligation and necessity to express obligation and necessity we use must has to or have to in the present and all of them are followed by the infinitive. Ali must attend the party. He has to play the match. I have to sleep early. In the past, we can use had to plus the infinitive. I had to revise my lessons. But in the future, we use will have to. I will have to study hard. lack of necessity when something is not necessary we can use needn't don't have to doesn't have to don't need to or doesn't need to and all of these are followed by the infinitive she needn't play the match i don't have to buy a car she doesn't need to have a taxi In the past we use didn't have to, didn't need to, or needn't have plus the past participle. She didn't have to buy a new dress. She needn't have bought a new dress. In the future we use won't have to. She won't have to go to work. Study the difference between she didn't have to buy a new dress, she needn't have bought a new dress. The first sentence means that it wasn't necessary and she didn't buy a new dress. But the second means it wasn't necessary but she already bought a new dress. Prohibition To express prohibition when something is prohibited or forbidden, we use mustn't plus the infinitive. You mustn't park in a no parking area. You mustn't smoke in hospitals. 
Study these synonyms carefully. Mustn't equals It's not allowed to. It's forbidden to. It's banned to. It's against the law to. It's prohibited. Now, write the following sentences using the word bread. I advise you not to eat so many sweets. You shouldn't eat so many sweets. I advise you to go to the gym more often to keep fit. You should go to the gym more often to keep fit. You can't drive at more than 110 kilometers per hour on the motorway. You mustn't drive at more than 110 kilometers per hour on the motorway. It's inadvisable to take medicine without asking your doctor. You shouldn't take medicine without asking your doctor. It's necessary for us to be economical. We must be economical. You mustn't park here. You are banned from parking here. Or we can say, parking here is banned. You mustn't smoke in the theater. Smoking is forbidden in the theater. You must leave at once. It's obligatory for you to leave at once. It would be a good idea to read a lot in your free time. You should read a lot in your free time. You mustn't exceed the speed limit. You are prohibited from exceeding the speed limit. Or we can say exceeding the speed limit is prohibited. Thanks for listening with Nafam. Learn easily and simply.